You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Hello and welcome to another interesting episode of Maths Made Fun and Easy. My name is Ikenna Wokolo. Today we'll be looking at the volume of solid shapes. Last time we looked at the area of plane shapes. We said that plane shapes are flat shapes and that the area of a plane shape is the amount of space that its surface covers. And we gave various formulas for calculating the area of plane shapes. For instance, for a cycle, we said it is pi r squared. For a rectangle, we said it is length times breadth. For a parallelogram or a rhombus, we said it is base times height. Today, we are looking at volume of solid shapes. We have different solid shapes like a cuboid, a cube, a cylinder, spheres, cones, and so on. When you look around you, there are many solid shapes that you can find around you. Around me here is a funnel. You know, the top of this funnel is a cone, right? This is a tomato tin, and this is a cylinder. I have a football here. This is a sphere. I have a phone case. A phone case like this is a cuboid, and so on and so forth. So if you look around you, I'm sure there are at least three different solid shapes that you can find. Now, the volume of a solid shape is the amount of substance that it can contain. So if I open up this phone case and I pour maybe um, flour here, the amount of flour that can enter into this phone case is the volume of this phone case. All right? So for this one, if I pour, this is a paint container, if I pour paint into this, the amount of paint it can contain is the volume of this container and similarly this is a paint container as well you can see that this will contain far more paint than this so we say this has bigger volume than this other one right now what is the formula for calculating volume of solid shapes you know formulas help us to get the answer faster than measuring you know how much con that container can hold. So today we'll be looking at the volume of solid shapes. There are three important categories of solid shapes that we'll be talking about. Prisms, pyramids, and spheres. These are the three that we'll talk about in this video. Now, what are prisms? Prisms are solid shapes that have two similar end faces. For instance, if I have a rectangle and then a similar rectangle and then I join these two, I join their corresponding sides, then what I get is a prism. It has two similar end faces joined by rectangular sides. And the name of this prism is a cuboid. So you now know that a cuboid is a prism. What if I have circular faces? A cycle and then another cycle. And then I join them like this. This also is a prism and the name of this prism is a cylinder what if i have the end faces as triangles and then i join their corresponding sides like this this also is a prism and the name of this prism is a triangular prism Normally, we label or name prisms according to their end faces. So we can call this a triangular prism. We can call this a circular 
prism. We can call this a rectangular prism. But we know we have special names for this and this, right? Now, what formula do we use to calculate the volume of prisms? The volume of a prism is the area of one of its end face multiplied by the distance between the two end faces. Do you understand? The area of one of its similar end face multiplied by the distance between the two end faces. So for a cuboid, if this is the length and this is the breadth, okay, and the distance between the two end faces, let's label it as H, then the volume of this cuboid will be the length times the breadth, which is the area of this end face, then multiplied by the distance between the two end faces. So volume of a cuboid is length times breadth times height. What about for a cylinder? The volume of a cylinder is the area of the end face multiplied by the distance between the two end faces. So if this is the radius and the distance between them is, I label it as H, then the, the volume of this cylinder will be pi r squared, which is the area of the cycle, pi r squared times the height. So volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. What about for a triangular prism? This will be the area of this triangle, which is half base times height. In this case, this is the height. Then if the distance between the two end faces, if I label it as D, then it will be half base times height multiplied by D. So you can derive the formulas of any prism. All you need to do is find the area of the end face multiplied by the distance between the two end faces. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Now let's talk about the volume of pyramids. A pyramid is gotten from prisms. Let me explain. Remember we said that an example of a prism is a cuboid. So I would show you the pyramid that we get from a cuboid. This is a cuboid. Now if at the top end I go to the center and mark out a point, and then join this point down to the bottom of the cuboid, what I would get would be a rectangular-based pyramid. You see this? What I've gotten now is a rectangular-based pyramid. Same thing for a cylinder. I have a cylinder here. If I go to the top and then draw lines down to the bottom of this cylinder, what I would get would be a cone. So you can see that a cone can be derived from a cylinder and a rectangular base pyramid can be gotten from a cuboid. Now, these are all pyramids. A cone is a pyramid. This one is also a pyramid. So what is the formula for calculating the volume of shapes like this? It is simply 1 over 3 of the volume of the shape where it is gotten from. Remember, this was gotten from a cuboid, right? And a cuboid is the area of base times the height. So 1 over 3 length times breadth times height. For this one, the volume would be 1 over 3. Where it's gotten from is a cylinder. And remember, the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So 1 over 3 pi r squared h 
is the volume of a cone, while 1 over 3, the area of this base times the height of this uh, pyramid is the volume of this pyramid. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. And finally, for spheres, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. Volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cube. So if this, for instance, is a football, the radius, this is the radius, right? So all you need to calculate the volume of a sphere is just the radius of that sphere. 4 over 3 pi r cube. Now we've listed these formulas and we are going to be using them to do some practice questions. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Now to our first question, find the volume of the figure above. This here is a cuboid, right? And the volume of a cuboid is length times breadth times height. The length here is 10 centimeter. The breadth is 6 cm, and then the height is 6 cm. You can say breadth or width. Anyone goes. So 10 times 6, that is 60. 60 times 6 is 360. So we have 360 cm cube. I hope you got it. Remember, this is practice question, and you don't practice maths by watching videos you practice maths with your pen and with your paper so if you don't have your pen and your paper with you what are you waiting for go and get it as we move on to question number two you're watching maths made fun and easy with ikenna maths teacher now to question number two calculate the volume of a cuboid eight centimeter long four centimeter wide and three centimeter high Remember that volume of a cuboid is length times breadth times height. The length is 8 cm. The breadth is 4 cm. Remember we said breadth or width is the same thing. The height is 3 cm. So 8 times 4, that is 32. 32 times Three is 96 so we have 96 centimeter cube you're watching maths made fun and easy with ikenna maths teacher next question calculates the volume of a cube with side length five centimeter you know a cube is just like a cuboid the only difference is that all sides are equal all sides are equal. So the length, the breadth, and the height are all the same thing. So if this is length, is the same with the height, is the same with the breadth. So the volume would be L times L times L, which is L cube, right? And since we are told that the side length is 5 centimeter, we have 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter times 5 centimeter, which will give us 125 centimeter cube i hope you got this you're watching maths made fun and easy with ikenna maths teacher next question the volume of a cuboid is 24 centimeter cube if the base is six centimeter by two centimeter find the height of the cuboid you know that we are told that the volume is 24 centimeter cube and you know that the formula for volume is the length times the breadth times the height. We are told what the length and the breadth is. That is 6 cm by 2 cm. So we want to find the height. 6 times 2 is 12. So we have 12 cm square times the height gives us 24 cm cube. So to get the height, we divide both sides by 12 centimeter square so this is going to give us the height as 24 divided by 12 is 2 2 centimeter 
is the height of this cuboid. I hope you got this. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Next question. If the volume of a cube is 27 meter cube, find one of its side. Remember that the volume of a cube is the length times the length times the length, right? Which would be L raised to power 3. Okay, so we want to find what L would be, one of its sides. Now, I can express 27 as a cube. 27 is something as 3 times 3 times 3, right? So we have 3 raised to power 3. And in laws of indices, when the powers are the same, 3 and 3, then the base will, is automatically the same. So L is equal to 3 centimeter. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Next question. A cylindrical drum of water is of height 10 cm and 14 cm in diameter. Calculate the volume of the drum. Okay. Volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. We are told that pi is 22 over 7. What is the radius? The diameter is 14 centimeter. So the radius will be 14 divided by 2, which is 7, right? So we have 7 centimeter by 7 centimeter. Then the height of this drum is 10 centimeter. So this will give us 22 times 7 is 154 times 10 is 1,540 centimeter cube. I hope you got this. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Next question. Determine the volume of a cone with radius 3 centimeter and height 7 centimeter. The volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r squared h. We are told that the radius of this cone is 3 centimeter. Pi is 22 over 7. Radius is 3 centimeter. So we have 3 centimeter times 3 centimeter. Then the height of this cone is 7 centimeter. So 3 we go into 3, 7 we go into 7, so it's 2 times 3, that will be 66, so we have 66 centimeter cube. Interesting. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikenna, Maths Teacher. Next question, a cone with base radius 7 centimeter has a volume of 308 centimeter cube. Find the vertical height of the cone. All right. The volume of this cone, we are told, is 308 centimeter cube. And you know the formula for volume of a cone is 1 over 3 times pi, which is 22 over 7. The radius squared. The radius of this uh, cone is 7 centimeter. So... 7 centimeter times 7 centimeter, then times the height is the height we are looking for. This is equal to 308 centimeter cube. So, how do we get the height? First, we can divide from here, and then we can take other things to the other side of the equation so that the height will be equal to 308 centimeter cube times 3. As 3 goes from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, it will go from the denominator to the numerator, right? Then 27, 22 and 7, we go to the denominator. 22 times 7. All right? So, let's see how many times 22 we go into 308. 
22 into 30 is 1. Remember, 8. 22 into 88 is 4. 7, we go into 14. That will be 2. So 2 times 6. So the height of this cone is 6 centimeter. Pretty easy, right? You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. So the next question, calculate the volume of a pyramid with base area 36 cm square and height 9 cm. Remember that the volume of a pyramid is 1 over 3 area of base times height. Area of base times height. Okay? So 1 over 3, we are told that the base area of this pyramid is 36 centimeters square and then the height of the pyramid is 9 centimeter so 3 into 36 is 12 12 times 9 that will give us 108 centimeter cube so the volume of this pyramid is 108 centimeter cube i hope you are attempting the question before watching my explanation now to the next question. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Next question, calculate the volume of the figure above. This is a triangular prism. And you know the volume of a prism is the area of end phase multiplied by the distance between the end phase. So the similar end phase here is this right angle triangle an area of a right angle triangle is what half base the base we can take six to be the base times height and take five to be the height then times the distance between the similar end faces which is eight centimeter two we go into six that will be three times 3 times 15, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 8, that will give us 120, right? 120 centimeter cube. So here we have the volume of this right-angled triangular prism. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Next question. Four cylindrical concrete pillars support the roof of a building. Each pillar is 4 meters long and 50 centimeters in diameter. Calculate the total volume of the four pillars in meters cube. All right. Volume of four pillars. So that will be four times their individual volumes, right? So 4 times, what is the volume of a cylinder? We are told that these pillars are cylindrical pillars. The volume of a, of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Pi r squared h. Good. So this is going to give us 4 times 22 over 7 times. Now, what is the radius of this cylinder? We are told that in diameter, it is the diameter of the pillars is 50 centimeter in diameter. So the radius will be 50 divided by 2, which is 25 centimeter. But remember, we are asked to leave our answer in meters cubed. So we are going to change centimeters to meters. So instead of just writing 25 centimeter, I'm going to change it to meters, which will be divide by 100 right so this is going to be 25 over 100 the radius is 25 over 100 times radius again 25 over 100 then times the height the height of the pillar is four meters this is already in meters okay so this is meters this is meters and this is also meters now all right let's see how we can divide so this is going to give us 
4 times 22 over 7 times 25 will go into 100. That will be 4 times. So we have 1 over 4 times, again, 25 will go into 100. That will be 4 times 1 over 4 times 4. 4 we cancel 4. 4 we cancel 4. We have 22 over 7. And you know 22 over 7 is 3.143. So this will be 3.143 meters cube. This here is the volume of four of these pillars. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. Next question. A cylindrical container has diameter of 14 centimeter and height of 20 centimeter and is full of water. A student pours the water into another cylindrical container of diameter 20 centimeter how deep is the water in the second cylinder all right so the volume of water in the first container you can call it volume one is the same amount of water that was poured into the second container we can call that volume two so volume one equals volume two the volume of the water in the first container would be the volume of that container because the water was the container was filled with water right and you know volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h so this is equal to the second container is also a cylinder so we would have pi the radius let's label it as capital r by r squared let's label the height as well as capital h so this is what we are looking for how deep is the water in the second container so we just put in the values that we know and then we'll be able to find this one that we don't know okay but pi can cancel pi since pi and pi are on both sides the radius of the first container is will be seven centimeters since the diameter is 14 centimeter so the radius here will be seven centimeter times seven centimeter the height is 20 centimeter 20 centimeter is equal to the radius of the second container is 10 centimeter because the diameter is 20 centimeter right so we have 10 centimeter times 10 centimeter times the height so if you want to get height what are we going to do we're going to divide both sides okay let me multiply this 7 times 7 is 49 49 times 20 that will be 980 right so 980 centimeter cube is equal to 100 centimeter square times height so to get height, I'll divide both sides by 100 centimeter square. 100 centimeter square. So our height will be 980 divided by 100. That will be 9.8, right? So our height is equal to 9.8 centimeter. So the depth of water in the second container will be 9.8 centimeter. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then join me in the next episode of this video series where we'll be looking at another interesting topic in mathematics. You're watching Maths Made Fun and Easy with Ikena, Maths Teacher.